Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can install Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC in order to create injects that you can install through WAP Installer. Now this is going to be only the setup part. I will be creating videos soon about how to inject NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, N64, GameCube, Wii, DS, MSX, and also Turbo Graphics games. I will be making a video in the future on how to inject all of those games, but in this video I will be showing you how to just set up that program on your PC and what settings I prefer to have in this program. So, first thing you're going to want to do is find the link in the description for the installer and all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click download right here, click download anyway, and then it should download onto your computer. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click on it and it should open up the installer. So my recommended location for where to install this program is your roaming folder on your computer. You might need to check hidden folders and applications. You might need to check that inside your file explorer to access this, I'm not completely sure. But you're, what you're going to want to click is browse and then you're going to want to click on your app data folder and then you're going to click on the roaming folder so just click on that click ok and then click next and also choose create a desktop shortcut one thing to note before we move on is don't put this in both of the program files folders and the reason you don't want to put this program inside those folders is because they'll start having issues with the permissions so I just highly recommend to just not put it there just throw it inside your roaming folder that's the best spot for it don't put it in your program files folder because then you're going to need to run it as administrator every single time you use the program so that you don't have issues with your permissions so just wanted to clear that out before we move on so you can choose to create a desktop shortcut and then just click the install button and it will extract all the files and click finish and you'll see a notepad open up on your computer as well and you can read through this if you want to you don't have to you can just close this out after that you're going to see this downloading tools let it download all the necessary files it needs it's also going to download drivers on your pc if you need them I highly recommend making sure drivers are up to date because this program might not function properly if you don't have those drivers on your PC. So once you open up the program, you will see the home screen. And what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to click on this little gear right here. And you're going to click on open path menu. So where to store your downloaded bases? I recommend storing it right there in the roaming folder. but for the Injex, I like to put it on a personal hard drive that I call Nintendo Backups, where I have backups of all of my Nintendo games. Make sure to change the path to wherever you want the Injex to be stored. So I'm going to set this path really quickly right here. And that's where I like to have it in my Nintendo Backups drive. So after you think this is all good, go back. And you're going to want to head on over to the DS Inject page. Now we're going to be setting up our Wii U common key really quickly, just as the last thing in this video. So what you're going to want to do is you want to click on this, and you're going to want to just click on WarioWare Touched. Depending on what region it is, I mean it doesn't matter right now, we're just setting the common key, but just select the region that you have. In my case, my Wii U is the United States. So now you're going to want to click on Enter Common Key. Now if you don't have your OTP.bin, from when you backed up your Wii U, you still can Google this and find it there, but I'm not going to link it or give you any hints on it since it is copyrighted material. But the best thing to do is just to read it from your OTP.bin. So you're going to want to click on this. You're going to want to locate your OTP.bin. So click on this and then click check. And it should say that your uh, common creed is correct. So make sure you do that because that is very important. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you set up this program on your PC. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to inject NES games. So I'll see you guys then.
Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you around.